Hi folks, today we're gonna look at git rebase and git rebase onto commands. Actually, git rebase onto command has two varieties two arguments and three arguments. What does that mean? The first variety accepts two arguments as part of its command. The latter one accepts three. In this video, I'll just stick with the two argument variety. Why did I mention the git rebase command along with the onto variety? Because in this video, we're gonna introduce an example of using the git rebase command, and also we're gonna introduce a git rebase onto command that does the same thing as the git rebase command. Let's just have a look at these two diagrams. Let's say we have a tree like this. So um, here, map um, the master and feature branch diverged from commit C, and then we check out to commit F, then run git rebase E that has the effect of rebasing commit F on top of commit E so it becomes like this as you can see commit F is placed on top of commit E let's have a look at the git rebase example in more detail So, as a revision, to achieve this, first we check out to commit F. Then we do git rebase E. That's it. But how does it work? We have to find a range of commits. Then we place those commits on top of E. What are the range in this case? Should be commit F, right? Because F only F is chosen to be placed on top of E. For the command git rebase E, the range is E dot dot F. What does that mean? That means choose a range of commits that are accessible to F but not accessible to E. Let's illustrate that. Commits accessible from F are F, C, B, and A. Commits accessible from E are E, D, C, B, and A. So if you calculate the difference, the difference is F. So E dot dot F is the range which is just F in this case. And then we put that F on top of E. Next part of this video, we're gonna try to do the same thing as git rebase E, but do it using the onto variety. So, how about an equivalent command to do the same thing, but using git rebase onto? First, we check out the commit f again. So we check out f. 
then we do get rebase on to equals e then f caret this command does the same thing I'll explain first what is the range here it's f caret dot dot f here f caret is the first parent of f so first parent is c so f caret dot dot f is c dot dot f and let's illustrate that what's c dot dot f that's all the commits that are accessible from f but not accessible from c which a bit laborious but I'll mention it again for the sake of clarity accessible from f is f c b a accessible from c is c self then b and a so the difference when calculated is just f so it's the same as the range of the git rebase e command git rebase onto e f caret command has the range equaling just f and then the onto option just specifies which commit to do I'll do it again the onto option just specifies to which commit do we put f on top of as we can see here onto equals e it is e so the effect is we put f on top of e we put f on top of E again. This is the same result as the previous command. Before we finish, um, to help all of this sink into you, I will revise a bit. The range always is the commit that is mentioned in the command dot dot then the commit which you have checked out it's always that way look at the second command it's the same the, the range here is the commit that is mentioned in the command which is f caret dot dot the commit which we have checked out which is f again it's always the case for both varieties the range syntax remains the same let me say it again here the range e dot dot f how did it come about e is mentioned as part of the command f is what the commit that which we have checked out the second one same thing f caret is what we have mentioned as part of the command f is the commit in which we have checked out I hope that helps you a bit thank you for your attention in the subsequent videos I'm gonna cover more examples of using both the two arguments and three argument varieties of git rebase on two commands. So tune in for next videos. Congratulations, you made it to the end. Thank you and see you next time.